Hey everyone, it's modification time. I just bought these three junk guitars uh, for forty dollars today in Valparaiso, Florida. And I just wanted to show you. I'm gonna transform all three of these guitars into something awesome. So I just wanted to share, and I will document the process from start to finish of each and every one of these guitars. And uh, this one's a Behringer strap body. Um, uh, it's a Davidson. Yeah, it's a basic body. This one's an Epiphone. Looks like a vintage Epiphone, actually. Um, it's been, it's okay. The paint was stripped off it, um, and the neck has got major damage. It's got an Epiphone. It looks like it was a nice guitar at one point, but the uh, see if I can get the light to cooperate. The neck is completely fractured. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to save these guitars and give them a completely new life. So, we'll watch the steps of this guitar, these guitars transformation. But, I just wanted to show you. Uh, and I'm going to save these from the landfill. Contribution to the world is to save the tree that it took to make these guitars. Uh, maybe not this one because that looks like a composite material, but <laughs> the neck and the materials that's used. So, I try to give back in my own little bit of way. So, I just wanted to share that with you. This is going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to completely transform each and every one of these guitars into something very cool. Thanks for following this page, and we are going to have so much fun. And the dogs say goodbye. This is Rooster, and this is Emma. These are my well, my children, my fur fur child. But anyway, so I hope everybody's having a good day, and we will talk to you soon. All right. Hey, how's everybody doing? All right. Just got an update on the Doctor, the Rick Nielsen's the Doctor guitar. I'm gonna use this neck, and I'm gonna use his body somewhere else. But I just wanted to show you the basics. Uh, as you recall, I got this guitar from a local guitar place in Valparaiso, Florida, and I'm gonna take this guitar apart and I'm gonna recycle this neck. This neck is gonna go on the doctor guitar and I'm gonna make it into the hammer shaped guitar. Uh, basically, it's just kind of an explorer kind of shape, and it's going to be very cool. Anyway, just wanted to show you what it looks like before I take it apart, and what I have to start with. Okay. Alright, here's everything dismantled. Next looks pretty good. It's in good shape. I'll reshape the headstock, and it's decent. I'm going to have to sand it, and I'm going to paint it white, of course, and I'm going to make sure that all the fret markers are invisible before I paint it. But anyway, there you go. quick update on the, uh, the doctor or just finalizing all the different placements of where exactly the neck is going to go where the bridge is going to line up where the pickup is going to go uh, retrace the lines to make them more sharp and precise because uh, when I go to, to paint the actual graphic on the white body guitar but all right next is to cut out the the, uh, the shape and then go on the wood and then cut the wood from there. Uh, it's dark already. It's been a long day. Uh, got the paint done on the uh, Billy Joe Armstrong and I'll make another video on that. But that cured for a little bit. That looked really good. Uh, so, here we are. We'll see you in a bit. Alright, got it cut out. There's the shape. The doctor. It's gonna look sweet. And I've decided to do something special with the headstock. I'm not gonna do a standard uh, Gibson or you know Explorer headstock. I'm gonna do a headstock reminiscent of these tips here, and I think it looked a lot better. I think it looked cool. Plus, it you know 
case, you know, Hammer decides to get a bug or something like that. And yeah, you made a guitar like ours, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's going to change the head shop shape enough to where maybe you won't get mad. I don't even think you'll even say it. I'm such a small minor builder. But anyway, <laughs> here's the doctor. All right, we're going to see you next step. All right, how's everybody going? Uh, here's a quick video update of the doctor. Rick Nielsen's the doctor, electric guitars in the drawing phase. And um, here's what the, the body's going to look like with the parts. And <laughs> this is going to be killer. going to reshape the headstock, of course. This is a recycled neck. And I'm going to be painting this neck white. And then it's going to have the doctor on the frets. Uh, yeah, just wanted to show you real quick, and I'm going to be doing the white version. Uh, there are a couple version pictures out there. Uh, actually, the original, like here, Mr. Rick Nelson himself, with his original uh, doctor, the white. Uh, over time, the guitar actually yellowed, like in this picture here. So, uh, it's just that the paint, you know, over time, it, it tends to yellow. And, uh, you know, I want to do the original version where it's in its white full glory. But, yeah, here's the doctor. Um, and that's what the fretboard's going to look like. I'm going to paint it on there. I'm going to paint the, uh, the whole neck uh, white, of course. And, and I don't think I'll do the hammer. I think I'll do my logo, the Ragland guitar, in white. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick video update of the good old Dr. Guitar. <laughs> and here's a miniature they made. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. It's going to be another colossal epic build. I can't wait to get started, cut the wood out and everything that's next. Uh, cutting it out and get started. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, get ready to cut out the Dr. from the wood. Here we go, the process is going to begin. Alright. Hey, how's everybody doing? Alright, I got the shape cut out. Whew. I tell you, that was some, that was some work. <laughs> but I got the doctor. The doctor guitar is in the wood blank phase. another update for you okay what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a uh, rounded edge on the, the body on the front and the back before I uh, cut out the, uh, the neck pocket there and the way I do that is I've got a uh, Dremel bit that I, uh, I use here and it just it's kind of like a uh, you know a router and I just put like an edge on the side there and I'll work my way around and I'll, I'll give you another update when I get that done but right now see how it's all sharp and I won't do this corner but you see how it's sharp there and then I put the edge on there okay we'll see you in a minute all right put a round edge on everything this is the back of the guitar uh, nice nice and smooth yeah. and also on the front I'm this more, of course, and I'm getting ready to add in the neck pocket. All right, let's see in a bit. All right, quick update on the Doctor guitar. I don't know if I'll be able to build a headstock shape. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. It's gonna be sweet, and it matches the uh, the back there. But yeah, I got the neck set in there, and good progress today. Oh man, Whew. cutting that little piece out was uh. <laughs> pretty tricky. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Today, how's everybody doing? Ah, just want to share progress today. What I got done for the doctor guitar. Uh, got quite a bit done. Got the, the body shape, cut in the neck, shaped the headstock, and uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is uh, gonna be another epic build. Um, you know, the, the two layer, I do the two layer design and the bottom layer and with the top layer too the neck pocket I cut in 
get the, uh, the extra piece there. That way I can fit the neck and configure when I go to, uh, you know, install the bridge and everything like that. And it's going to be a regular strat style bridge minus the tremolo. So it'll be pretty cool. But yeah, there's the progress of today's work. I think I'm going to call it for today. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. Got a bunch done. But anyway, uh, there you go. Stay, uh, stay tuned for all the exciting uh, future updates of this build. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey, just a quick update on the doctor. I'm setting the, uh, the neck. And this is how I do it in general with these uh, top load uh, non-trim strat style bridge neck bridges. See, so, yeah, I set the uh, distance, you know, from the 13th. You know, you check the scale length and then you mark it off. And you can see how I marked it off there. And then I've got string to make sure that the neck angle is correct, which is perfect. This neck is perfect. So I'll set it in to where it is right there. And just wanted to show you how I do it. Uh, you know, it's a little complicated, but this method I use right here works out pretty well. And see, then I can screw in and fix the bridge now prior to painting. Because then when the painting and, you know... It's just better that way. But anyway, just wanted to show you that real quick. Alright. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to show you uh, how I seat the neck. Uh, put the body filler in there and make the neck pocket connecting perfectly. Let's see if I can get it in the light here. Yeah. Yeah, once that dries, I'll sand it smooth and make it perfect. Yeah, it's turning out pretty cool. Yeah. Alright. Alright, everything's lined up. I use the strings and I installed the uh, the bridge. Now I'm gonna put for the pickup and I think I'm gonna like to go with an EMG active pickup in this guitar so it'll sound bad to the bone. But anyway, here's the Alright, draw it out where I'm gonna put the uh, the pickup, the single EMG 81. I drew it out. And tomorrow I'll get the, uh, the saw and I'll cut this out. And then we'll go from there. Alright, good to go. Alright, how's everybody doing? Good morning. Time to get to work on the doctor guitar. The weather is cleared up. Ah, better than it was yesterday. So, Alright, uh, plan today is get all the way up to the wood filler. So what I'm going to do drill a hole for the ground, uh, cut open the hole for the pickup, uh, completely channeled all the electronics inside, cut open a hole for the input jack, or on the back, um, open up a hole for the pedometer cavity, uh, then uh, open a spot for the 9-volt uh, the battery. I'm gonna go with the shallow square nine volt battery uh, holder. And then once I get all that done, everything looks good, then I'm gonna sand all the body filler and then add all the extra body filler uh, that I might need uh, on the top and on the back. And then we're gonna glue both pieces together. Then I'm going to fill in all the cracks along the side and then hopefully get to the wood green uh, filler and coat uh, one side with about four or five coats of wood filler and that'll be the whole day <laughs> that'll probably take me about a good eight hours so hopefully get all that done today we'll see how far it gets okay we'll talk to you soon about it all right got the hole drilled i've got the uh the ground for the bridge and an opening for the uh the pickup channel and i'm getting ready to scroll saw the opening for the pickup all right all right pickup hole has been cut Looking good. Alright. Alright, drill the hole for the volume knob all the way through the back and we're gonna open that up and route out the guitar. Alright, gonna cut out for the uh, 9 volt battery compartment and then open up an access panel for the uh, pedometer and the back of the guitar. Alright, I got the uh, 9 volt battery access compartment cut. Now what I'll do is I'll draw where that opening is. So 
so I can make the well deeper and then I can make it nowhere to route the other stuff set a wire channel okay because you see this uh, doesn't fit flush so I'll have to go down and cut away and uh, dremel down and make it flush at the bottom but now I've got access to if I pull this away this is where the routing of the guitar is going to take place so I've already did for the pedometer and then the input jack here and then I'll just make a dog leg over here to the 9 volt battery compartment and that's where the channel for everything is going to go. It's pretty simple on this guitar. Just going by. So we've got the, uh, the bridge, ground, and the wire going to connect up to here to your pedometer, to your input jack, and to your 9 volt battery. And that's it. All right, we're gonna wrap this out, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, another quick update. Uh, I got the uh, nine volt battery. Uh, this is the back of the guitar. And the input jack, uh, access panel, which will get this belt. Uh, which I, well, I don't think I'm gonna counter sink. I think I'm just gonna go flush and go the other way with it. But that's gonna go there and that and there. And let me show you the ultimate final route of the guitar itself, which is pretty simplistic on this one. Which is a vice of good uh, So there you go, there's the complete route. Okay, the uh, a little bit lower for the channel for the pickup uh, into the pedometer. And I'm going to use 500k pedometer. And that's going to go down there like that. Input jack, but I'll get that all set up in a All right, another quick update. Just wanted to show you the final route before I glue the two pieces together. Next step is I'm going to glue the top piece to the bottom piece, but I just wanted to show you all the intricacies of the routing. Um, routed and then for plenty of room for the wire for the and let me show you what the final route looks like. All right, so from the bridge. See here, <laughs> a little blinded by the light. Okay, so for the pickup, uh, you go to the ground there, and then you route all the way to the one volume knob, and then from volume knob to the nine volt battery cover, and then to the input jack. So it's pretty straightforward. And on the back plate, you can see I round it out a little bit to accommodate for the input jack, and then I always do these. Uh, these comfort uh, extra little nibs just so the wires slide smoothly so uh, all right so next phase is what I call the glue phase it is where I glue both these sections together and it becomes one solid piece and then we'll go to the next step see you in a minute Alright, well, another quick update. Uh, successful glue phase. Both uh, pieces are perfectly glued to each other. And this is awesome. And I'm going to fill all the rest of this in with body filler. Any gaps or anything like that. And then we're going to go with the wood filler. But yeah, it turned out pretty cool. So, uh, the doctor is taking shape. Pretty soon the doctor's gonna be in the house making calls. So there we go. Alright, we'll see you soon. Next step. Hey, how's everybody doing? Alright, another update on the doctor guitar. All the body work, uh, the body filler, uh, everything's joined, all the cavities are cut out. We are to the wood fill, the uh, the wood grain fill stage and the wood filler so uh yeah we're going to go and get ready to enter into the ugly stage 
But yeah, it is looking awesome. I mean, this thing is just killer. It's a huge body. I uh, can't wait to do the graphic. Can't wait to paint it and do the graphic. This this guitar is going to be sweet. Yeah. I've got to say, it's <laughs> it's looking awesome. I mean, who would have thought such an odd-shaped guitar would be so fun and so cool? Uh, yeah, here's the back. This is what it looks prior to the wood filler, prior to the ugly stage. Just the wood stage. Uh, yeah, the neck pocket turned out really well. Everything is good to go. Um, like I said, it's just going to go the wood green. Wood filler. Ugly phase is next. So, ready for it to start looking icky until I, uh, <laughs> icky. Can't believe it's so icky. Until uh, I sand everything smooth. But here we go. I'll see you after I put a few, uh, you know, halfway, you know, when I put some uh, wood filler on there. And we'll see you soon. All right. I just want to show you how I mix up the wood filler. Yeah. And I kind of base it by, by feel and thickness. I'll get this all stirred up and then I'll be right back. Alright. That's about the consistency I'm looking for this time. I'll make it just a little bit hair thinner. So when I layer the coats that it lays down a little bit more even. On the last guitar, I made it a little thicker and it laid it a little bit more clumpy. And then when I go to sand, you sand more often than you actually want to. Because you have to make it level. But that's about consistency I'm looking for right there. And then I get the fan brush like I've showed in a past video. And dip a little bit in. Go to the spot that I want to go to. And you put a... Just put a layer... Simple as that. And you just keep uh, putting layers. And then, you know, this layer I'll go from left to right. The next layer I'll go up and down. So it kind of fills in all the pores and fills in everything really well. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, here we go. Got the first coat of wood filler on there. Applied. <laughs> it's kind of a preview of how this beast awesome looking guitar is gonna look yeah so i'll let this cure for maybe about two or three hours and then i'll come right back and put another coat i think i'm probably gonna put about i don't know somewhere like seven coats on the top just like this and then on the back because it's more of a wood grain uh they're probably putting probably nine to ten coats and then once it all dries then i'll sand it and we'll take it from there but yeah there's the first coat <laughs> it is looking cool. I do the sides and the top, and then of course not the bottom. I'll do the bottom afterward. But uh, there we go. We'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? All right, the wood filler stage has been completed. I probably put about a good, I don't know, 15 layers of wood filler. You know, thin layers, of course. But uh, I just wanted to show you how it looks. <laughs> it is looking awesome. I gotta admit, I mean, this this shape is really growing on me. When I first started this project, when I first started making this guitar, I thought the shape was a little unusual, but you know, I just, it was an iconic guitar and I wanted to recreate it. But that's really growing on me. Uh, let me show you the back here. That's just amazing. Uh, of course, it's the ugly face, so I'm gonna sand all this really smooth. I can't wait to show you that. But let me grab, let me show you the back. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to start putting some primer and some paint on this and then working on the graphic. It is going to be so amazing. Uh, plus, I'm, you know, I've got EMG going in there, so I mean, this guitar is going to sound amazing. And it's fun to show you. Uh, pretty good progress. I mean, uh, weather is definitely a lot better, so today I'll be sanding this and smooth and possibly uh, putting some primer next time uh, you know I'll put some primer coats on there and then white of course gloss white but uh, yeah it is looking awesome I do like this guitar a lot yeah. 
this is why you know making guitars is so awesome i mean you get to to do stuff like this and it's just it's just so gratifying when you see something that comes from a drawing that you know you got off you know and you drawing that of a guitar that you saw on the internet and you recreate it and make it you, know, you bring it to life and you make, make it an actual thing because i can imagine there's only one of these the real guitar uh the rick nielsen the doctor guitar he probably only had one made and it's probably somewhere in his vault of you know several thousand guitars somewhere uh in the corner and it hasn't been looked at in probably years but it's just awesome and i'm glad i can share this with you i mean it it, it feels really good to be able to do this and bring you along on the journey okay we'll see you on the next step uh sanding and i hope everybody has a good day and we'll see you soon all right good morning everybody i'm doing the fretwork on the rick nielsen the doctor guitar I'll get all this done and then I'll sand the uh, neck here and I'm going to paint the neck fully white except for the front. It's going to be black and with my logo right there. Uh, I'm going to sand all that and make it all perfect. But yeah, I'm going to paint the whole neck uh, gloss white and then I'm going to paint on the doctor graphic in black and red. So that should be very interesting and very cool. Let's see how it turns out. Alright, see you in the next step. Alright, next step is completed. I've got all the frets leveled, crowned, and polished, and they are glowing. Take a look. <sighs> yeah, okay, time to strip off all this tape and get it prepped for uh, primer coats. And we'll see you after the next step. Off. I just wanted to show you the shine. Welcome the frets are leveled, crowned, and polished. Of course, I'm going to sand this whole neck now and prep it for primer. Uh, I'm going to be painting this entire neck white. Of course, with the exception of the headstock, uh, the front, from the this point on, it's going to be black with the white logo. But, and then on the frets, I'm going to put the doctor face them this way of course the doctor so I just wanted to show it to you and I reshaped and got everything and when I put the primer coat on here I'll see if I'll need to fill in anything like that but I'm going to get it as perfect as possible but here are the frets now nice and shiny that's always what you go for okay see you next time hey how's everybody going all right, I got uh, all the individual frets taped off and we are ready for some primer coat. Plus I got the, uh, the neck mounted to my custom hanger I just made for this particular thing. And I'm gonna put some primer. I was considering going primer and paint. I still might do that because uh, these individual frets wanna try to make it as clean as possible. It's pretty good sandpaper or pretty good uh, tape that I used uh, but we'll see. Uh, wish me luck. I'm going to put a coat on there and see what it does. And then I'll be back to you. Okay. Hey everyone. Just another quick update on the Doctor guitar. Got the neck painted white. Still got to clean it up a little bit. There's a little bit of paint on the frets. But I'll scrape that off. Uh, it turned out okay. Uh, not as good as I had hoped. But uh, it'll work. I mean it. The paint, you know, and it's kind of humid and, you know, a little bit of dust in the garage because, uh, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's acceptable. I'm not, uh, dissatisfied with it, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, the shape is really killer. But, uh, I'll get to work once this cures for a day or two and I'll get to work on the doctor on the frets and then, uh, paint the, uh, the front of the headstock black and then put the logo um and then start working on the body again but yeah you can see where there's you know this it's not 100 percent perfect i could sand it when it dries completely uh I thinking maybe i go a 2k over everything once i get you know everything you know like the inlay and everything like that but it might not be necessary 
how to kind of play it by ear, but just a quick update. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty decent. It took a while. Uh, 2K. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Morning, everybody. Beautiful day here in Florida. The sun is shining. We are good to go. Okay. Time to sand the sucker and to make it smooth and beautiful. Alright. Wish me luck. This is the stuff that I'll be using. Here's my dogs. That's Emma. That's Brewster. They love when <laughs> I make guitars. Anyway. I just wanted to show you how it looks before the sanding starts. I showed you in the last video. Yeah. And we're going to make this beautiful. Going to make it nice and smooth. And I think the weather is permitting that we're going to put some primer on this thing today. So I'm going to install the hanger, hang it from here, and we're going to put some primer on there. Alright, see you in a little bit. Hey everyone, taking a break, want to share an update. Yeah, it's coming along. This is a long process, so uh, it's taking a while. I still got the the side tiers here, as you can see. But I want to show you how smooth and the progress of the actual sanding part. Uh, how See how smooth it comes, and I'm out of the light figures. But yeah, you see how I got these tiers, see how rough it is, but then you see how smooth yeah, let's see if I can get the light to cooperate here on this side. Yeah, you can see the difference. Anyway, getting there, taking a break. Whew. Yes, like I said, this process does take a while, but it's so worth it. Look at that, look at how awesome that is. Yeah, see how smooth? And once I get it smooth, uh, then I'll put a, a layer of uh, uh, Letter primer on there to seal all this in. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Hey, it's got another update on the Dr. Guitar. All the sanding has been completed. Just wanted to show you what it looks like before the primer coats. Uh, looks good. It took a long time to get here, but it is smooth and looking sweet. I'll put the hanger on. And I'll I'll do another short clip before the primer coats go on. Also in the back, I'm going to have to put some, uh, some, some extra filler in. There's a couple lines that developed here for sanding. Let me show you the back. It looks like a squid, doesn't it? <laughs> the doctor. Yeah, see these these little lines that developed. It happens with this wood. I'm gonna fill that in with some putty real quick before I put the primer coats. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's that many. And then after the primer, you let that dry for a day, and then you see if you find any other perfections, and you sand the primer, and then you just put another layer of primer before the base coat of white goes on. But yeah, let me do that real quick. I'll uh, fill these with a the paste. Actually, what I use for that is... I don't know what I do with it. <laughs> oh, here it is right here. I use this right here. Bondo Glazing Putty. And it fills in fine lines like that. And I'll fill those in and then sand them and put on the hanger and we're ready to put some primer. Looks awesome. All right, see it a bit. All right, we're on the hanger and we are good to go for primer coats. Whew. Took a lot to get to this point, but here she is. I'm gonna spray a few coats of primer on there and see how she does. Uh, We'll see you in a little bit. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, another up. 
update uh, primer coats have been completed and it's looking awesome uh, it's sandable primer too so in between coats I was sanding and trying to smooth everything making it more perfect but yeah it's looking it's looking pretty good <laughs> so this is after probably uh, seven eight coats of primer uh, but it's looking good and this outside in the light it's kind of hard because it's kind of shady but I'm gonna take it indoors and then I'll let it hang for a day or two and then sand it and then we'll go with the white coat and then that'll have to cure for about a week uh, and then start doing the graphics and it's gonna be awesome but all right we'll see you inside all right inside primer coats are done like I said earlier man you really don't notice how big this thing really is until it's one solid color when it's wood it's actually deceiving it doesn't look as as big I mean it really doesn't weigh that much per se I mean I don't really don't know the exact weight I'll get the exact weight when I get done uh, but it's it's uh, <laughs> I mean, if you look at it compared to the uh, the Psycho guitar line, uh, this thing like dwarfs them. Even the skull and crossbones, it's kind of dwarfed. And the uh, the other guitars here, this thing is like huge. But uh, as the proportions of what it was, so it's uh, <laughs> it's amazing. But I just wanted to show you. Uh, I doubt I can turn this around. Well, I might be able to turn it around. Yeah, see, it's really not that heavy, per se. Uh, hold on. Let me turn it around. Stick it on the hanger here. Don't want it to fall off or anything. It would suck. But, yeah. Here's the, uh, the back side. Yeah, it looks good, though. The, uh, the primer really, uh, good and all that sanding. Like I said, I was sanding in between layers of primer. Here, let me turn it back around. Uh, so, I mean, I'm a fairly, fairly strong guy, but, you know, one arm strength. If I were to have to guess the poundage, uh, over 10 for sure, uh, but less than 15, so I can imagine. But this thing, you figure it's, uh, with the, the neck attached, it's probably going to be upwards of two and a half, three feet big. So, uh, but you know, Rick Nielsen's known for his, you know, quad neck guitar and everything like that. I mean, even his, uh, Uncle Dick guitar is fairly large. I mean, when he stands next to it. But anyway, just want to give you a quick update. So let this cure for a day or so. And a little bit of sanding and then we'll go with the white paint. And I can't wait to get to the graphic and put the graphic on there. It's going to be sweet. And, all right, well, see you soon. All right, how's everybody doing? A little bit of update on the Dr. Guitar. Uh, I've got the primer that's set for a day or so. It should be nice and dry. I'm going to sand it a little bit and make it smooth, blow it off. And then we're going to go with some clear coat or some, uh, some white gloss. This is the paint I'm going to do. I, uh... I, try, I got some of the Rosoleum and I got some of this, uh, but this is, says it's like super adhesive, or five times the uh, stronger adhesion. So I'm gonna give this a whirl and see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Probably put about eight, nine, ten, eleven, whatever coats on here. Make it real pretty, and we'll see you in a little bit. I'll document the progress of it. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, good morning everybody. Uh, sanding is, the primer has been completed and we are ready for some base coats. Just wanted to show you how smooth it turned out prior to the white coats going on. Uh, if you could feel that, it's just, it's just smooth. Uh, I sanded it with 800 grit sandpaper and then all these little cracks and crevices, I'll have to brush in the base coat later on, which is fine. And then once I put the clear coat, you, you know, it'll all blend in. But I just wanted to show you real quick what it looked like before the base coats get applied. And you can see how smooth. Oh yeah, it turned out really well. I can't wait. Alrighty. And there she is. 
the doctor prior to some white base coat paints. And I'm gonna go with the Krylon. I might have said that in an earlier update. But I'm gonna go with the Krylon Fusion all-in-one paint right here in gloss white. And we're gonna be good to go. Alright, fingers crossed everything goes well and a bug or a hair or spider web or something doesn't get in the finish, but anyway, we'll see you in a bit. sketched out what it looks like and I'm going to cut it out with the exacto blade and then we're gonna apply it to the neck. Right, we'll see you in a sec. Alright, time to put the doctor on the fretboard. Uh, fingers crossed it turns out the way I hope it will. And here we go. I'll check back with you in a sec. Another quick update on the Doctor guitar. I got the black Doctor inlay put together you know, on the guitar, which is looking sweet. Now I got to do the red accents. And of course, I'm going to color the top part, the front facing of the uh, headstock black and then with the white logo. But Doctor is on the frets, so it looks pretty cool. The Doctor. See you next step. All right, another update, real quick. Just uh, finished the uh, the doctor inlay. And it is looking sweet. Uh, I'm so happy, so pleased the way it turned out. So, that is definitely cool. And it's just like the original, very close. Of course, you know, I put my little stank on it here and there. Uh, this is a 21, 22 fret neck as opposed to 24 fret, which is on the original. So I had to adjust and move over. Normally the R to the right started on the fifth fret, but because of the spacing, I spaced it over and, you know, made it work. So it's centered in the center of the neck. But yeah, there's the doctor. And we're gonna let this dry <laughs> and then you know any touch-ups you need to do so it turned out pretty cool all right can't wait to get the paint on the body talk to you in a little bit all right update all the base coats have been completed and i just finished and it is looking amazing i am so pleased with the results oh look at that that is just so awesome oh my god look at that all that extra effort and making it smooth really turned out i mean it it just looks incredible it looks like something actually that you know you would find <laughs> from a professional you know like something done from like you know instead of being a handmade instrument to being a professionally wow look at the look at the uh I'll, I'll do another video inside once I get it hung up, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's just awesome. <laughs> okay, one note though, one little gripe. Uh, I started off using Krylon, and it, the nozzle was, you know, two, two separate cans. Uh, the Krylon, this stuff right here. I started off using this, so I was going to try like I was saying before, and the nozzle was clogging, it was blotching out, it was spitting out little goobers everywhere. Man, I got one coat on there and I had to go through there and re touch up everything and thank God. Here's the only scar from the Krylon, you can barely see it, but there was like a big old run that developed from barely spraying that thing. So I learned, you know, the Krylon in this particular scenario wasn't good. But luckily I bought both and I, the uh, Rust-Oleum came through and saved the day. So, let's find 
me show you. And of course I'll let this dry for a full week or so. And then I'll start to apply the graphic on the front. And the doctor will come into view. So awesome. So I just wanted to show you that. Yeah, it is looking good. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it's true. I mean, practice makes perfect. I mean, the more you do it, the more you, the better you get at it. Um, painting used to be my, my Achilles heel. I always hated painting. I was not any good at it. The, the finish always looked bad. It was always bumpy and wrinkly and it looked just sloppy and yeah, it's getting better. I mean, this isn't perfect by no means, but it's definitely improved. So, all right, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey everyone, just another quick update on the doctor headstock. I got the headstock the way I want it. And of course I'll put some clear coats on there and we'll make it uniform and shiny and perfect. And I am gonna do the 2K, but I got a little surprise. On the back, I decided to put this. <laughs> A Rick Nielsen tribute guitar by the good old Orton Nielsen himself. <laughs> so I thought that was a cool touch. So yeah, that'll be really killer. Um, and when I put the 2K, it'll be super glossy and everything will be matching and uniform. But I just wanted to show you the update today. Pretty cool. And my logo seeing as how I changed the headstock up a bit for the original and still waiting on the body to cure it's dying for some graphics and the graphics will be coming soon so just kind of a a preview <laughs> the doctor yeah this is a cool thing yeah good old Ricky all right, we'll see you all in a little bit.